Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will solve four interesting examples based on even and odd components of signal. Before I start with my solution, I want you to try those questions first. Later you can check for the solution in this video itself. So first of all, I will explain basics of even and odd components of signal. After that, I will solve four questions. This is question number one. This is question number two. Freeze the video and write by your own. This is question number three. And this is last question of this video. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I'll explain you basics of even and odd components of signal X of T. If you have signal X of T, then signal X of T that is algebraic sum of even component of given signal and odd component of given signal and this x of minus t that is even component minus odd component of given signal that one should know so x of t that is summation of even component plus odd component and x of minus t that is even component minus odd component here if you add these two signals in that case this odd component that is getting cancelled. So we will be having x of t plus x of minus t that is equals to two times of even component. So even component that will be x of t plus x of minus t divided by two. And if you subtract these two signal, in that case, this even component that is getting cancelled and we will be having x of t minus x of minus t that is equals to two times of odd component. So odd component that will be x of t minus x of minus t divided by two. Now I will explain four examples based on this even components and odd components. So in first example, we need to identify even and odd components of unit step signal. So first of all, you should know what is unit step signal. See in unit step signal, we will be having output that is equals to one for t greater than or equal to zero and output will be zero for t less than zero. Let me explain this graphically first. So here, if you observe, we have signal that is u of t that is having magnitude 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 right as i have told you even an odd component calculation so that is based on algebraic sum of x of t and x of minus t so first of all we need to identify x of minus t so this is x of t right this is x of t so let me explain what is x of minus t See x of minus t that is folded version of this. So x of minus t that will be appearing somewhat like this with magnitude 1, right? So this is x of minus t. And if you observe odd component calculation, so in that we have minus of x of minus t. So if you talk about minus of x of minus t, then with x of minus t, we need to multiply amplitude by minus 1. So minus of x of minus t that will be appearing somewhat like this, right? That is having minus one magnitude for t less than zero. Now we need to understand how exactly even and odd components are there. See even component that is x of t plus x of minus t divided by two. So even component if I plot it over here, then that is algebraic sum of this and this, right? So if you add this two, then signal will be appearing somewhat like this. You can observe it will be appearing somewhat like this, right? And this divide by two that you need to do. So here one divided by two that we need to have. So amplitude will be half. So if you talk about even component, then that will be half. Why I'm directly writing half? The reason is for all the values of t, it is half, right? 
So 4t greater than or equal to 0, we have 1. 4t less than or equal to 0, we have 1. This addition divided by 2, that is in total half for all the values of t, right? Similarly, if you talk about odd components, then in odd components, we have x of t minus x of minus t divided by 2, right? So if you observe here, we have x of t and here we have x of minus t into minus 1, right? So addition of these two, that will be appearing somewhat like this, right? It will be appearing somewhat like this and here we have magnitude 1, here we have magnitude minus 1 and that addition divided by 2. So here we will be having half and here we will be having minus half. That is how signal will appear. So what is the meaning of this? This signal is signum function. So you can say this signal is half of signum function, right? This is half of signum function, right? So that is how we can identify even an odd component for unit step signal. Now I will solve second question. See in second question, we have x of t that is given in terms of cosine sine, right? So we need to identify even an odd component. So first of all, we need to identify x of minus t. So what is x of minus t? See cos of minus t that is cos t only. Sine of minus t that is minus sine t, right? Here cos t that will be cos t only, but sine of minus t that is minus sine t. So here we will be having minus cos t sine t and sine square t is there. So sine square of minus t that will be minus sine t whole square. So that will be plus sine square t only, right? Now we have x of t and x of minus t. So we can identify E1 component, E1 component is x of t plus x of minus t divided by 2. So if you add this 2, then what will happen? Sin t and this cos t sin t that is getting cancelled, right? If it is getting cancelled, then we will be having 2 cos of t plus 2 times of sin square t and that divided by 2. So that will be cos t plus sin square t only, right? And if you identify odd component, so in that case, we need to subtract x of t minus x of minus t, right? And that divided by 2. So if you subtract this 2, then cos t is getting cancelled and this sin square t is getting cancelled and minus minus plus. So 2 sin t divided by 2, that will be sin t and 2 times of cos t sin t divided by 2 that will be cos t sin t right so that is how we can identify even and odd components now i'll explain third question of this video see in third question also we need to identify even and odd components so to identify even and odd components first of all we need to identify x of minus t so if you place t is equals to minus t in this, then minus t to the power 6, that will be t to the power 6 only. So this will be 5t raised to 6 plus 2t to the power 5 is there. Instead of t, if you place minus t, then minus t to the power 5, that will be minus 2 into t to the power 5. Here we have t to the power 4 minus t to the power 4, that will be t to the power 4 only right here we have t to the power 3 so minus t to the power 3 that will be minus t to the power 3 right and t square is there instead of t square if you have minus t square then it will be t square only and plus 1 now we need to understand even component over here so even component is x of t plus x of minus t divided by 2 so if you add this to, then this negative sign that is getting cancelled and divided by 2 is there. So here we will be having 5t to the power 6 plus 
थ्री टी टू द पावर फोर प्लस टी स्क्वेर प्लस वन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट ऑड कंपोनेंट देन ऑड कंपोनेंट इज एक्स ऑफ टी माइनस एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी डिवाइड बाई टू सो इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस टू देन सी दिस इज गेटिंग कैंसल विच इज हैविंग सिमिलर साइन राइट सो टू टी टू द पावर फाइव माइनस माइनस प्लस टू टी टू द पावर फाइव डिवाइड बाई टू दैट विल बी टू टी टू द पावर फाइव ऑनली हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव नेगेटिव साइन सो दैट विल बी टू इंटू टी टू द पावर थ्री रिमेनिंग थिंग्स दैट इज गेटिंग कैंसल्ड राइट सो दिस इज हाउ सिंपली वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई इवन एन ऑड कंपोनेंट फ्रॉम द फंक्शन नाउ आई विल सॉल्व वन मोर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन ग्राफिकल अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइट सो हियर वी हैव दिस एक्स ऑफ टी फॉर विच वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई इवन एन ऑड कंपोनेंट सो हियर वी हैव एक्स ऑफ टी एंड इन इवन एन ऑड कंपोनेंट वन शुड नो वी हैव एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी लाइक इवन कंपोनेंट इज एक्स ऑफ टी प्लस एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी डिवाइड बाई टू एंड ऑड कंपोनेंट दैट इज एक्स ऑफ टी माइनस एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी डिवाइड बाई टू नाउ हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट आर डू इज आई विल प्लॉट एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी सो एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी सो दैट विल बी एक्जेक्ट मिरर इमेज ऑफ दिस सो हियर वी हैव जीरो वन टू इन मिरर इमेज वी विल बी हैविंग जीरो माइनस वन माइनस टू एंड हियर वी हैव एम्पलीट्यूड दैट इज टू सो यू विल बी ऑब्जर्विंग मिरर इमेज दैट इज अपियरिंग लाइक दिस राइट इट विल बी अपियरिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी एंड हियर वी हैव माइनस ऑफ एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी सो माइनस ऑफ एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी मीन्स With x of minus t, we need to multiply minus one. So that signal that will be appearing like this. If you multiply this with minus one, then now amplitude will be minus two over here, right? So this is minus of x of minus t, right? Now we can identify e one component. So that is addition of x of t and x of minus t divided by two. So if you add this two signal x of t and x of minus t, then that will be having shape like this. That will be having shape like this. This is this signal, and this is this signal, right? And here we have amplitude that is two, but divided by two that we need to do. So here we will be having amplitude one, right? So this is. E one component in terms of graph, right? Now, if you talk about odd component, then in odd component, x of t minus x of minus t that we need to add. So x of t minus x of minus t, these two signals that we need to add. So if you add, then shape will be appearing like this. You can observe shape will be appearing like this, and this signal that we need to add here. And here, divide by two that we need to do. Here amplitude is two, and here amplitude is minus two. So divide by two means here amplitude will be minus one, and here amplitude will be plus one. So this is odd component in terms of graph, right? So this is how we can identify even an odd components of given signal. I hope you have enjoyed this. Still, if you have any confusion. just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video